Hey everyone, it's Mr. Bushido again with another short video at Anthony King Nation News, going to be in the latest of Kamen Rider, Super Sentai, anime and comic book toy review. This we're going to be talking about a Super Sentai toy review. Let's get started. Henshin! Hey everyone, this is Mr. Bushido, so let's get started. This is what you see in front of you is the shadow phone from the series Samurai Sentai Shingenjir, if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, so this is not the American version Samurai, Super Power Ranger Samurai, or Power Ranger Super Samurai. Um, I only seen a few episodes of the uh, uh, Shingenjir, uh, excuse me, Samurai show. I haven't seen the whole series yet. I seen again. I seen some of the Samurai uh, Power Ranger Samurai. I did like how the phone look, um, but when I actually saw the how, when it came out, it was smaller, thinner, plainer phone and I wasn't really shocked about it because I know for a while Bandai hasn't been doing that great morphers many, not many great morphers only the I think the Gose was okay it was better than the morphers that have been coming up for a few years um, when I when I saw the Santai and I saw the how their phone was I really liked it because it's it's sad that they uh, they took out the brush part cause that's really cool how they did that I just I understand they should have done the same thing with the American one but they never did it's kind of dumb, I don't know. So let's, let's get started. So pretty much you have the on and off switch right here. Let me just turn it on. The first sound you're going to hear. That's so cool. And let me open it for you. As you can see, it's way bigger and thicker than the American. Um, it looks similar, but, you know, it has, you know, the stickers are different here. And um, let's see. So let's get started. It has the first, let me put it on the side. And then push. And it has all the numbers for all the uh, all the five Shinjir. Starting with the lion. I think this one's the dragon. I think that's the bear. The monkey. And the turtle. And also it has these numbers that make these really cool sounds. It's simple gimmicks, doesn't have that many um sound effects, but what makes it so cool is this part when they when they morph or henshin. Here it goes. And then they carve the symbol of their power and then they press right here. And see right here, it tells you the colors of the, like, the pink ranger is the turtle. And of course, the dragon. But that's pretty much it. Um, I know you probably could do a little bit more different sounds, but I'm not going to get into it. It's just a short video. But that's about it, about the shadow phone. I was just going to share a short video about it. It's really cool, like I said. I got it for a good price. Um, I didn't get it that expensive because online they are going for about... Uh, on open, they could go up to 50 to uh, to 60 to 80 or 90 even $100, especially if you order something from Japan. Because this is this Kentucky model from 2009, so it's rare over there, especially here. Um, it's a must have if you're a fan of Samurai, you know, if you're a fan of the Super Santa or you're a fan of the American, it's much better. It's more TV accurate, except for only the brush part. Even that's so, I don't know why, they should, they should have just put that part because I think it would have been cool. Um, but yeah, I, I really like it. Uh, I waited for the good time to get this because uh, they're, they're very hard to find. Well, they're not that hard, they're just very expensive. And I got mine's under 20 bucks, so I'm fine with it. I'm actually pretty, pretty happy I got it for that price. And um, I hope you like this video. Uh, let's And I'll see you again, you, you two people. And then this is Mr. Bushido signing out at... Anthony Geek Nation News, we're going to the latest of Kamen Rider, Super Sentai, anime, and comic book tour review. See ya, YouTube world.